Time for a little trig ratio practice. Here we have to find the sine of theta. Perhaps it would be helpful to write down our always wonderful so ka to uh All right. Now, if we're talking about sine here, we're looking at this bad boy right there, right? So sine is my opposite over my hypotenuse. Now, with respect to this angle, I do have my opposite side, but over here I have my adjacent, right? Early on, I like to label them opposite, adjacent, and hypotenuse. I still need my hypotenuse. Well, if you recall your Pythagorean triples, this one is easy money. It is a 5, 12, 13 triangle. Woo! But if you didn't remember your triples, you can use Pythagorean theorem a squared plus b squared equals c, c squared. All right, so now I want to find the sine of theta. Well, now I have my hypotenuse, right? So sine of theta is equal to the opposite, which is 5, over the hypotenuse, which is 13. 5 over 13 is my answer on this one. Excellent. All right, let's do one more example. Here we have, find the tangent theta. So for tangent, we have opposite over adjacent, right? Hmm, well, it looks to me like I've got my opposite side, but over here, this is my hypotenuse because it's across from the right angle, okay? So I gotta figure out my adjacent side. I don't know my adjacent side. How would I do that? Well, four and eight, that's not part of a triple. So I need to do x squared plus four squared equals eight squared. I gotta do a little Pythagorean theorem to figure this thing out. So I've got x squared plus 16 equals 64. And now I need to get that x squared by itself by subtracting 16 on both sides, which leaves me with x squared equals 48. All right, so now I got a square root on both sides and I need to, it's not a perfect square, I got to factor treat this thing. So I'm going to have, if you'd like to go with the twos as I often do, two and 24. I'd have two and 12, two and six, two and three, woo! All right, I got a pair of twos here and I got a pair of twos here. So that would be four root three, two times two comes out. All right, we're not even done with the problem though, okay? So that's just my adjacent side. This is gonna be four root three. All right, so now I've got my tangent of theta is my opposite over adjacent. I'm gonna change colors here while we work the actual trig portion of this. My opposite side is four, and then my adjacent side is four root three. Okay, now I can't leave a square root in the denominator. Okay, I do need to rationalize this. I can also see that there are some simplifications. I'm gonna do that first. I like to do that first because then my numbers are smaller. All right, I can reduce both of these by four, or by, yeah, by four, and that will leave me with one over root three. Now I can rationalize by multiplying by the root three over root three, right? We've seen that in other videos. We've seen that uh, before with rationalizing denominators. That leaves me with root three over three. Boom, there is my answer. Perhaps a more legible three would be good. Excellent. Cannot leave that radical in the denominator. That's my final answer right there for the tangent of theta. Hope you guys loved it. I loved it. That was awesome. That was fantastic. See ya.